Well, what do I say? I don't know what I say. What do I do? All right, so I'm going to finish my peanut butter, which is probably really annoying to hear me chew a peanut butter sandwich. What might be a little better is... Uh, this is my apple juice. Guys, if this episode of Smartless is as delicious as my lunch is right now, you guys are fucking set. Welcome to Smartless. Smart. I have a 1.30 uh, pickup uh-huh. and a uh, 2 o'clock crew call and 2.30 shoot time. Wow. Um, so Jason's describing his first day of work, which is tomorrow at a fish market at 2 in the morning. He has to yeah. shoot in, in a real fish market that's smelly and stinky. And Yeah, the hours of operation is 2 to 6 a.m. So that's when we have to be there. And, um, you know, uh, there was a time in my life when I enjoyed those hours of the day. Sure. But um, I, I, I don't anymore. So uh, mm-hmm. my first day is going to be... Um, I'm going to try to be warm. I'm going to try to be uh, welcoming. It's going to be rough. Um, That's but, two in the morning's rough. Yeah. I, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go to sleep at six or something, try to sleep for a little bit. Or should I just stay up? Should I just go get a big fat bag of white and stay up all night? Will? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let's should I just start counting days that. again? No, let's just pump the brakes on that. <laughs> okay. I, so I said to Jay, he was thinking of um, op- opening first day gifts or whatever, you know, start gifts. And a man, last night I was with Will, Jason, and I said to Amanda, I said, the cookie thing, there's like a new place in New York that makes pie cookies. Can you believe and, Sean knows about that? <laughs> and they, no, they make, so, uh, uh-huh. they also make croissants stuffed with cookie dough. It's amazing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, croissants and, uh, stuffed with cookie, cookie dough. dough. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And, and what do you think I said to the, that pitch as, um, as, as start gifts? Was, do you think it was a no or do you think it was a yes? Well, I'm just trying to imagine your tone. I bet it wasn't I was considered friendly. No. Um, it wasn't. It was It was very judgy. Yeah, it shut me down immediately. <laughs> we, um, yeah. Sean and I were talking on the weekend. We, we saw each other last night, JB. Yeah, that's what Sean just said. Yeah. yeah. Jason. And we were with your wife, and I spent a lot of time with your wife well, last night. Well, well, a lot of time. Um, we started talking about I've been I've been freaked out this weekend and Sean I mentioned this to you we started talking about because you read I sent you the article JB I sent you the article about kids with smartphones yes yes and it's been freaking me out and that guy yeah. Jonathan Hade wrote that book Anxious Generation yes, this is crazy and it's kind of I spent the weekend like talking to my kids about it and uh, you know what this smartphone has done to this young generation and like the super increased rates of uh, depression, anxiety, anxiety, um, yeah. even sadly suicide, of course, is, uh, and, and it's like, it's really bummed me out. And I've just been like, well, what the boys say about it? Well, I, you yeah, know what's funny? Talk to them about it? I did. I talked to them a little bit about it and I said, you know, what you got to remember is that these, some of these, these companies are trying to, there are people out there who knew that this stuff would be addictive to you guys. And mm-hmm. they and they fed it to you and like big tobacco, but in a, in a way, Probably, in a way, yeah. in a similar way. And I was like, "How does that make you feel? Like, do you feel angry?" And they were like, "Yeah, I feel kind of pissed off because I feel duped." Look, we're all guilty of it. We were talking last night. Like, how many mm-hmm. times you're talking to somebody and you've got your phone and you go, "Hang on, sorry, what?" Like your your attention is divided, right? And yeah. so I do it as an adult. And imagine what that does if you're a teen. It's even harder. And this is a moment where you're establishing your neural pathways. And I said to Sean, I go, the richest man, my 13-year-old has the same phone as the richest man in the world. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, they're all the same phones. I I don't let, I'm nervous about my kids like going out or walking around the corner or whatever. And yet I'll, I'll let them get on their phone and go to the far deep reaches of the internet. I don't know. I got to change. Anyway, that's been kind of dominating my thinking. Something to do, something to figure out. 
So I'm going to figure well, out. How, are, yeah. how are, they, are they able to manage boredom? Like, do they have coping skills for, like, riding in an elevator and not doing anything except staring at the wall or sitting at a red mm-hmm. light and watching traffic go by? You know, right. like, that's something we had no choice but to yeah. get comfortable right. with. And, and it, it has, I'm glad I have that skill. Mm. I, I, would be, I would be very anxious without the skill of managing boredom. Mm-hmm. Think about, and, and, and that boredom led to creative thinking, Thought, right? yeah, exactly. Thought. Do you want to hear my thoughts when I'm sitting at a red light? Can Here I guess? Comes. Yeah, you can Is guess. Is there a fart joke in here somewhere? Uh, it's gonna, it's, it, the thoughts are glazed or cake. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkled or no sprinkle. Hot fudge, hot fudge, caramel, yeah. fuck it both. So I don't want a phone taking all that away from me. <laughs> hot fudge, <laughs> caramel, fuck it both. Hot fudge, caramel, fuck it, fuck it both. both. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, look it. I'm not, yeah. we're not going to, this is. We're not going to solve it today, but it, yeah, no. but it's, it's, it's food for thought. This is someone who's as delicious as glazed or cake. She is oh, wow. extraordinary. She is a hoot and a half, a real firecracker. She has a, a starburst tattoo half. on her right foot. What? Yes. What? As an actress, her body of work is ridiculously vast, and yet she's still younger than any of us. Known in Hollywood what? for her transformative character work and strength on screen, you might be surprised to learn that her fear of flying goes as far as needing to meet every pilot before takeoff oh, Will's to assess their skill set. Yeah. When not in the <laughs> cockpit, you could probably find her working on a Ryan Murphy project or 12 of them. It's the lovely and delightful and our good friend Sarah Paulson. Sarah, get your ass out Sarah here. Sarah Paulson. I covered the camera with toilet, toilet paper. paper. Was- sure you did. It would have been better if it was clean. By the way, but use toilet it's, paper. Yeah. It's not clean. So, Are no. you in the bathroom? Oh, Sarah. Um, I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs. Yeah, near a bathroom. You live. You this live is in your New- apartment in New York. Yeah. I don't live in New York. I'm just here while I'm doing the play. But this is your. This is your apartment. We're, we're we're visiting you in your apartment while you're doing the play. I'm actually staying at a a friend's apartment, renting that apartment. Gotcha. Oh. And 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 the play we, we should mention. Is that the Tabasco Theater, by the way? It's at the it's <laughs> at the, the spicy Tabasco Theater. That's really the Belasco. That's where Sean uh, won his Tony. Mm-hmm. Um, and Sarah's well on her way to hers. Tony, for, yes. Yes. It's the, it's the golden touch of that theater, Sarah, I'm telling you. In her incredible play called Appropriate. Everybody, no, if you're... No, Appropriate. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, so talk about that yeah. because we well, were like, yeah. it's spelled the same. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. This. It's true. So are we supposed to think that it's both appropriate and appropriate? Well, I think at the beginning of the play, there's that sign, right? That sort of drop in front yeah. of the curtain that describes right. all of the various ways in which... The noun can... and the verb. Yeah, yeah, the noun and the verb. Yeah, was the yeah. Intention. What is Will doing? Hi, I mean, sir. Hi. I'm just saying... That How are you? He's hi. working How on his smartphone. He's... Well, we don't really yeah. know you. No, I got some no- notification to verify that it's me on my Google. I don't know. But I was listening, and what I was oh, thinking Jesus. was... I mean, just exactly what at least I listened. About. At least, at least I listened more down. than you did. At least I listened more than you did when you were going to see her play appropriate. Clearly. Um, Thanks, Will. Yeah, Will both was you not guys, a... you both no. missed it. I missed the seeing the play. Now, Sarah, I'm I don't really know you like these guys do. So then hi. hush. Hi. Let, let let us talk. Yeah. Okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, Weirdly, go ahead. I I wanted to talk to Will. I mean, I know you both, and Great. I'm sort Sean of and I'll more, take a tight five. more interested yeah. in uh, <laughs> taking tight, tight five. five. <laughs> um, but why is it appropriate appropriate instead of appropriate? I think appropriate could work just beautifully I for that I think play. it could. And I think it's why he offers both options at the beginning yeah. of the play because yeah. all of it is applicable. Yeah. But I mm-hmm. think I did ask him directly. It is appropriate. Mm-hmm. All right. I think, I think he's wrong. <laughs> I think he's wrong. I'm going to tell him. Wait, um, so I want to do... So for, uh, we went backstage. First of all, Mm-hmm. Go see the play. It's amazing. You're phenomenal in it, especially that last monologue was incredible. You're standing on the stairs, and it's like you're scarlet whatever, and you're just like, it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Thanks, um, Sean. It's really, really great. That's very and kind of you, Sean. Very by the way, I love, you, I love that thing, too. I, I, people were like, you know, I was talking about it afterwards to friends, and that thing about it's too long to go into what the whole play is about because it's about a lot of things. But um, your character with your two brothers go back to uh, your, the home where your, the, where your father died and you're sorting out mm-hmm. business and you find all of these um, questionable things in his past, like pictures mm-hmm. of things and other stuff that bring up a bunch of questions about your family and your upbringing. And at the end of the play, I thought it was so profound when you were like, and please fill in the blanks, but you talk, you're talking to your two brothers and you're like, 
I'm the oldest of this family. I got to hold you and watch you and see all of the things that create your memories. Mm -hmm. But nobody's ever held me or was there for nobody's me. Nobody's left that. in the family who's done that for me. For me, yeah. I thought right. that was really powerful. Yeah. Well, it it's, seems appropriate. <laughs> oh God! It's definitely not appropriate. See, this is why we hire. Like, oh, well, definitely not. Well, because that's this, a that's I mean, a completely obviously. different meaning. No, I yeah. mean Jason has a lot of skills, but this one not. particular assessment is not one of them. <laughs> I, I tell you what, do yourself a favor. Don't ask either of them to define it because it'll be okay, embarrassing okay. for everybody. So, anyway, moving forward, I want to talk about flying and your fear of flying. Like why? That Sorry, is, before we really... move beyond the play, Will, are you going to find some time to come see the play? Yeah, oh, I am. Well, I'm going to see the play. I had. I What's had, the date? Uh, What's the date was, on that? <laughs> just, just so Sarah what can be is? ready. <laughs> you know, I hate knowing when people are out there. So she don't tell knowing. me. Don't. Just give her a ballpark. Well, I'd, yeah. I'd say it, but she hates knowing. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> all right. I wanted to because I was going to say I was about to tell you, and then she's like, "I hate." You've knowing. got like, till June 23rd, buddy. But I don't want to well, know. I don't want to know. You know, I don't like I know. to know it. I'm the same. I don't way. like to know when people are coming. I don't care if it's your dry cleaner. I don't care if it's your dentist. I end up thinking too much. About, about whether or not there, it's my codependent, my kind of hyper vigilant way You're of being in the world where I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering. Like even any of my castmates, I don't want to know if your fourth grade teacher was there. I'm well, worried. I thought you were going to say I don't. I don't want to know if you're in the play tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. This is no, how I. This is how I ended up with three kids. <laughs> yeah, because people didn't want to know when I was coming. Hey, listen, let me tell you something, Sarah. Hey, uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, let me tell you something, Sarah. Bang, bang, let me, let me tell you something. Ling, 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 ling. Have you so, ever, have, Sarah, Sarah, let me tell you something. I will, here's what I'm going to do. I want to show you, and, and I have so much respect for you as an artist. Unlike but these guys. I do too. I do Unlike too. these guys. Jason's quiet, by the way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to come to see this show. I'm not going to come and see the show, and I'm not going to tell you afterwards. So you won't even know I was there. <laughs> you just say, yeah. Okay? Because I respect you. That works, I that works, you. That works for so, me. Sarah, how is that at the end where, you know, for, for Tracy in Wisconsin, it is, it is a, uh, a practice, a habit, a, uh, an obligation for uh, uh, anyone in the audience who knows a cast member, or even if you don't know them, you just happen to be famous. It, you, Jason's you obsessed are, with this. You are obligated to go backstage yeah. and introduce yourself to the cast and and visit for a bit. And if you don't, apparently that's tantamount to giving it a, 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 a bad, a bad review. review. Yeah. Um, and so how do you like that dance there at the end where you're done with the play, you're exhausted, and now you got to yeah. socialize? It's not my favorite. Yeah. Although I will tell you, we've had a couple of fancy famouses come yeah. and not come backstage. And we all collectively discuss that we think it means that they didn't like it. Yeah, sure. But then we sort of think, well, but think about it this way. So you're so famous, you think somehow that the cast who, who you, whom you do not know wants you to come backstage and announce yourself to bequeath them with the, yeah. your great... It's arrogant. Right. It's, it's so win. weird. So it's yeah. that, you, there's no way to win. Yeah, you can't but win. But we no have win. had discussions about you know, there was like some fancy person who came who had worked with someone in the play who didn't come back. And I was like, well, no, that is a communication that they just don't like you. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Right? Can I, so can I ask you, if I... Maybe if, not the whole play, just you. Yeah. If 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 before June 23rd, I find myself at the uh, Tabasco Theater. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I've mm -hmm. seen the play and I've, and I've enjoyed it. And I, I'm the first one to my feet. And my hands hurt from all the clapping. <laughs> and, and I'm just, and I'm hooting and hollering. And then there's the moment. If you guys find out that I'm there and I don't come backstage, <laughs> are you does you, do you and your cast want me there? And there's a thumbs up. I just want to make a, really make a point mm -hmm. of this. <laughs> do you guys do you and your cast the Apple device? Do you guys want me there, or yeah, do you? I think would we you, would we would discuss that we thought Will Arnett didn't like the play. Really? That's what we that's what we would discuss. Yeah. What if he didn't? This like is the play? all I want. So oh, this is my moment. <laughs> Well, this well, what if moment. he doesn't like the play and he comes backstage and he, and he lets you know? He thinks he's got helpful <laughs> notes for you. He says, yeah, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. However, like, has anyone come back there and popped off about how you can make it fucking better? Yeah. <laughs> Um, that has not happened, although I would, I would kind of welcome it, actually, just just, just simply so I could discuss it with other people yeah. about the outrage. I did do a I've play once. Jay, I will tell that. you, I did do a play once. I, my last time I, I was on stage, I did a play uh, called Tally's Folly at the Roundabout. And thank you for the applause. Um, and the actress, and I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to ask you to cut this out because I don't fucking care. This, this actress this came name. to the play. What's her, her name is fucking Trish name? Hawkins. Hi, Trish. Hi, Hi Trisha. Trish. Trish Hawkins came to this play. Am I going to get sued? I don't care because I think no. this is outrageous. She came to the play. <laughs> if it's true. It's and funny. I proceeded 
my mother brought her to the play. They were in some kind of like writing group together. Uh, and my mother uh, thought it'd be great to bring Trish Hawkins to the play. I mean, this is a whole other conversation about my mom. Hi, mom. Mm-hmm. But she came to the play, proceeded to say, she looked at me and sort of up and down, and then she went, mm. your dress is yellow, mine was pink. And I thought, Oh, what? she did the what? character what? before no. you. Cut to two no. days later, I got an email that was no. six pages long of <gasps> notes and, no. and a communication to me about what she had done when she had done the play. Oh my Jesus God. Christ. What she recommended I do. <laughs> oh my God. It was outrageous. Mm. Oh my it God. It was really man. outrageous. Trish Hawkins, I have not forgotten it, and I hope to see you never. That's you what still, I have to say. You still have the letter? I have it. I do have and it. And did you talk to your mother and say, please delete her numbers? I didn't. I sort of just, you know, put it back in the file of things my mother has done. That has <laughs> That's good, though. You need <laughs> to save <laughs> that. Sarah, Sarah, can I just say that? Yes. I, I need to say something. I need to interject, yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah okay. I don't know you as well as these guys, and I have a I have a real feeling that you and I are going to be better friends than they could ever imagine. I love you for saying that so yeah. fucking much. Oh yeah, the no, respect. you two would be inseparable. Oh, yeah, would, yeah, yeah. I, Sarah, I have all the time when people and when they fucking deserve it. Now, by I'm the like, way, this is the deal. You yeah. cannot come to. No. You want to? If you're my dearest friend, and we go have a cocktail or a you know a little bread basket, Jason, mm. or some air yeah. that we might eat. Mm. Jason, yes. but you know, Aww, post the show some air. You. Yeah, yeah. You might need some air. Uh, air is so tasty sometimes <laughs> after a show, though. It's really wild it's good. how good it can be. It's but if you good. are a person that I love and admire, and you and I say to you, tell me what you thought, really, okay. and give yeah. me some. Especially oh. like early days previews or something. There All right, be thank some God. Real okay, help, so here's you know? okay, so here it is. So at the top so of the is. show, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. can you know what, Sarah? We just found out. We don't have to name names, but we just okay. found out uh, recently another friend of ours, and we were reading it last night. Got oh, yeah. a got a letter. This is crazy. A very this very 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 famous very person. famous person sent this other person a letter about their movie and said, "Oh, two movies, two movies." I and a letter. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for this. Uh, Enjoy your film. I do have one issue. It's actually the same issue I had with another one of your films. Um, and if you'd care to hear more, here's my number. Mm-hmm. From an extremely famous person to another person. Isn't that amazing? I probably would have called. I, that's I what I, I said. Called that's what I said. I think I would have called and recorded it. I would have called for, it from know. the set of the Jimmy Kimmel show. On yeah. yes. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good, too. That's, oh, right. that's, good. that's what I would have done, too. But oh. I would say this for Trish. I will say this for Trish, Sarah. It's, we have... A, Trish Sean, is here, you, by the way. Trish is Trish, yeah, oh, she's she's staying in your guest Thanks, house, mom. right? Yeah, my mom will probably trot her out. <laughs> Try to bring her to the next yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, oh, Sarah, I also have a mom who says a lot I'm of inappropriate like, stuff. What are you doing? Well, we all do. My mom also, my mom's going to get so upset about this, but, like, Kate Blanchett came to the play the same night that my mother came same mm. afternoon that my mother came. And Margot Martindale came also. And all these I people love, that I love and I have long I'm, relationships with. And I've worked with Kate three times. I've worked with Margot more than once. And I, of course, was really happy to see them. And I was, I'm not saying I wasn't happy to see my mom. But it was yeah. like, maybe the the range was a little yeah. like, yeah. oh my God, Kate. And oh my God, Margot. And it was like, hey, mom. Hey, mom. You know, it was like, <laughs> it was and like, she didn't like that? And I don't think she loved it. And I think her her... Her, way, her retribution is to just give me, like, a little less than I would yeah. hope for. Yeah. Because, because yeah, I think I'm giving her a little. It's just got to keep me a little, yeah. yeah. And she was like, I mean, I know we're supposed to go out. I don't know why I'm making my mom sound like this, like, grand dame of, like, Fifth Avenue or something. Mm. That's She's mm. really, like, the grand dame of Wood- Woodstock. She's like a tambourine mm. playing, you know, <laughs> hey, mom. I mean, I'm really sorry I'm just dis- disparaging you for my own comedy <laughs> interests. No, 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 no. Like, but it's no. reality. It's my reality. Yeah. I'm allowed to talk about my reality, right? Yeah. Well, Trish I Hawkins, about, my mom, yeah. they belong and to poor me. Trish, poor Trish. Trish poor Trish. Trish used to love Smartless. She, she loves to Smartless. it every week. <laughs> she loved and, it. I tell you what, <laughs> she, we're 20, dead about 25 million listeners per month. <laughs> Trish is about to get the bombardment she never well, knew she, she deserves, by the way. <laughs> the one she, she deserves. She brought it on. She's a persona non grata. I'll put that email on Instagram faster than you can say we're going to put it in the chat. <laughs> so wait, Sarah Paulson, I want to talk yeah, about the sorry. fear of flying. You're thing my hero. Yeah. Can I just say you're my yeah. hero? And you haven't even gotten into your shared fear of flying. Oh, oh you have this God. too. Yeah, yeah, oh, of God. course. So we're yeah. best friends. When's your birthday? Are, Hate to be, may, not to be too Amanda Anka about it, but when's your birthday? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so God, we're even better yeah. for May 4th. May 4th. May 4th, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 4th of May. 
All right. So it's coming Wait, what's, up. What sign is that? I just want to know what your sign is. Taurus. I'm a Taurus. And what's your Taurus. rising? Do we know what what's your rising is? <sighs> Gemini. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What's, okay. your, what's, what's your moon? I'm a Sagittarius with a Virgo rising and an Aquarius moon. So, huh. you know, do with that oh. what you will. And you believe will. in all that stuff. I don't. I, don't? I mean, I don't know enough about it. to. I do kind of think it's a thing. But anyway, the fear I of do. flying... Is very real yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of weeping that happens if there's a tiny pocket of like. Really. Yeah. You'll go right into. I'm right, right into, into the into crying. Mm -hmm. really? The grabbing the stranger next to me. I know yeah. you guys haven't been on a commercial airplane in a very long time, but if you. That's if you not do, true. Do, I was on a Falcon last week. <laughs> is, it, is that not? Is a he, Falcon doesn't, not he doesn't like the Falcons. Okay. The Falcons Listen, he thinks okay. are beneath him. Okay. The private um, planes are even scarier to me. I don't enjoy it. I don't okay, enjoy more it. room wait, for us. Wait, um, Sarah, 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 I want yeah. to talk. So you, yeah. so here's here's my thing about pilots, and I love hearing that you like to meet the pilot before. Mm -hmm. That's what so I do is I like to say to the pilots, what, how we looking, right, for our yeah. journey? Mm -hmm. Because what I don't enjoy is if you get on a flight and you have a bunch of turbulence, and the pilot doesn't say, and he doesn't come over the correct. Intercom. If it's the lack of communication, yeah. I can't. Stand just, it. just go. Hey, just we got some. Hey. It's run of the mill Correct. turbulence. It's not Correct. a big deal. We're all good. Yeah. We're blah 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 blah. Then I'm but good. you know, but the sad, but Sarah, do you have this too? Because I have a little bit of this too. The second you hear that, and the right before yeah. the pilot speaks, you're like, oh Jesus, just what is this going to be? Makes me, makes me sweat. Like, yeah, 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 They should come on beforehand, right? Yes. We've got, we if got they some come bumps on coming and they up. give you a lay of the land, which is why yeah. I like to talk to them because I say the same thing. How are we looking? They often yeah. pull up the iPad with the route. Oh, and they great. show me where the pockets of potential weather. They show me. This how is we're there on Delta, United, American. I like, a de I, I like Delta. Personally. Yeah, Delta. Delta. Like Delta's a sponsor. Smart, smart. Like well, you Delta know what it is. You know why? Because you know what it is. This communicate. This is a relationship, and in me, a relationships, I mean, really work boy. with communication. So you oh, need to geez. have this communication. This hey, why don't you, uh, Sarah, Sarah, if you can't pilot. grow up, Sean, for a second, then <laughs> take five, okay? Because Sarah and I are talking about relationships. You're back on a tight five. Sarah, why don't you? Why don't you invite? When's the last time you had a bunch of passes? Passengers uh, stop by the cockpit and ask for no, what, Jason. When you walk on the it, cockpit, you open. It's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, but if everybody stopped and asked to look at the iPad for the, I'm not asking to look the, at the iPad. I'm asking how we're doing, how and we're they doing. often pull out the iPad yeah. as a way of saying, "Here, what? Here's what we're doing." I ask them how the plane looks, who did the checkout, like who went mm -hmm. around and checked out the plane. Yeah. I want to know how long they've yeah, been yeah. flying. Yeah. I you ask know. for a little hint as to what what chair the marshal's sitting in, just for fun. Sometimes I've done that. What if uh -huh. it's Sarah? What if you're like, how long have you been flying? It's some 20 year old. He's like, I'm just flown for one week. Sometimes they won. <laughs> well, I want you to know that is literally every every single pilot joke that is made to me every time I ask them. Like, oh, so today's the first day. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah. No, uh, not funny at all. Wish to me, me luck. It just was yeah, lobotomized. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes there are, you know, the young co the co pilot has fewer years and fewer hours. How about this? How about I don't like favorite. to meet the pilots because if I meet the pilots, it becomes too human to me. And I don't uh -huh. like to imagine the fact that a human mm -hmm. being is even possible. This is, it's not, this you can't more fly a plane. Right? It does right? Not fly. Like, yeah. I, I like to think that there are... So you trust a robot are, more than a human? Well, you would trust super the, human trust. intelligent people up there that wouldn't even spend a minute with me. He like, they're doing adult robot. work up there. <laughs> he sits down, he sits in a seat and he plug and he plugs plugs a type C uh, plug <laughs> into the side of his head and it goes into the side of the plane and then he just <laughs> power down. He started speaking. <laughs> Don't power down, Jason. Exchange no information. Down. Just there's like a software. Reboot in five hours. <laughs> so, uh, Sarah, are you also a um, uh, type of gal likes to chat with the Uber driver? Nope. Don't want to talk to the Uber driver. You have that already clicked on your profile there. Uh, no, or no, no, chitty chat. Oh no, I don't. I did see that, but I thought that was rude. To click yeah. on it to make a point to of it. To click on it to make it a, like a rule for them. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather just let my 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 behavior and my demeanor communicate. So if that. you if you got in the Uber and the guy started asking you a question, you would just stop him and say, "Check my profile." <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. I mean, think about the kind of vibe you got to kick out to him I guess that's true. to to get him to be quiet is more rude than him being pre warned that oh, this person's not up for a conversation. I guess I think I feel really uncomfortable in general in an, mm. in a car where someone's driving. I have to chat uh, yeah. senselessly. Just to what make if there them. was a box for smart list and you just checked it? I'd rather not chat today. <laughs> um, so <laughs> no, what I would say, if, they try, if they tried talking to me, I was I, they always go, "Why won't you?" Talk? And I just go, "Sorry, man, my leprosy." is flaring up. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, wait, Sarah. So I love this stuff because you, you're not only afraid of, of, of flying, but clowns, mm -hmm. sharks, bees, and then you have 
a, a what is it? Trypophobia? Trypophobia? I have that trypophobia yeah. thing where I can't trip. I don't actually know how it's pronounced. Like Jason doesn't know about appropriate, appropriate, but it's <laughs> it's trypophobia, trypophobia. I don't yeah, know. It's a fair okay. but it's, I, is it it's like fear so it's of probably tryptophan? Trypto, it's probably no, it's not fear of tryptophan. It's fear of ho- ho- holes. It's fear of like holes. So like if oh, like a group holes. of holes. So right? like if you holes. like a group a grouping a whole grouping. I've like heard a, of this like a, before. <laughs> Like a natural sponge makes me like actually oh. I have to or a coral reef not interested. Wow, what about an what about an English muffin? No, it's not. I mean, those are no, nooks and crannies. Those aren't holes. Yeah, those are, those are, those are Swiss, nooks and Swiss, crannies. Those are nooks and crannies, Sean. Yeah. Swiss cheese wrecks your night? Mm, no, because they're not close enough together. It's about when they're packed tight. Right. So a loofah? No, thank you. I don't like a loofah at all. Uh-huh. So, so what's the reaction and what? It and, makes me. It makes my skin crawl, and I have uh-huh. to like. I have to run away. And Ryan Murphy decided that this was so funny that he decided to make a season of American Horror Story about a character that I played. Who was who had this disorder? So then I was constantly all day long having to look at these things and run from them, clowns mm. as well, and things. You know, that sounds like bullying. Way. That sounds yeah. like bullying. <laughs> exactly. To be honest. Did that get you past your fears, or did it make it worse? <laughs> it it just it just it kept it at a steady at a steady uh, steady mm. place. I, I, yeah, I kept not, it on high. But the bee thing, you know, I've never been not to bring up my mother again, but my mom. You know, she, that's what this is about. She locked me outside. <laughs> Oh, she deserves it. This oh, is- One day, That's my enough. mother determined <laughs> that the bees would bees. be should be something I should get comfortable with because you know obviously they do a lot for our planet. They're wonderful. They're uh-huh. great. Oh, I had never been stung when I was yeah exactly yeah. dirty hippie. And so uh, I I had not been stung at that point, and I still at the ripe old age of forty nine have not been stung by a bee wow. because I will drop a baby. I'm not kidding. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I will drop a baby, a tiny baby, and flee I too if a am bee. I'm not kidding. Equally, I cannot, equally afraid of bees. It, I'm re- you are not. Are you really? Oh, yeah. No, I that's, really don't whole, like them. It's my kryptonite. I'm allergic. Have you been stung, though? I've been stung twice, I think. Um, so not see, allergic. I think I might be making it into something that is, or I'm actually deathly allergic, and it's my, you know. No, knows. mine's gotten less um, as, I, as I've gotten older. Um, but I... The thing for me is that I you can't feel them when they land on you. And little- so the shock of the sting <laughs> is just going to come out of nowhere as opposed to, you know, if I'm like, if I'm in a fight with a bee and he gets the better of me, then <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm going to get stung. What if you had, what if you had super tiny boxing gloves on and they did too mm. and you're just like... God, that's a great idea, Sean. Thanks. You stupid <laughs> fucking dick. This is a- You guys want to hear my my ultimate kink? My ultimate fantasy? Yeah, and I've never I, told I anybody. Uh oh, here we go. Oh boy. It's, I'm getting stung by a bee while I'm sitting on a big sponge going through turbulence. <laughs> with clowns. Going on board. through turbulence, yeah. With a clown pi- with a clown pilot. With literally die. With a clown for a pilot. Yeah, you go up there and you go, how's it, how are we looking? You go, pretty good. Wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean, start with no, fucking questions. I got some. I yeah, got some. We're 40 got? minutes into this thing. You haven't yeah, asked her a and question. You still have one question that Michael Terry wrote for you. Me? You've got yeah. nothing. You, I've been trying to. So, no, I want to talk about. But I like this stuff more interesting because everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows your work. So, And I want to talk about that. But I want to talk about your tattoos first because oh. you have a lot of them. And I want to know. We gotta, I did not know this. Freak you on have, her hands, huh? I like a lot of tattoos yeah, you know, and all kinds of all points. She's all tatted up. You got them, I got huh? tats everywhere. Yeah. I was just yeah. saying yesterday. Well, I, I was just saying nothing says "Don't hire me" like a neck tattoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, neck. she doesn't have them on yeah. the neck. I have um, them on the back of my neck. That's oh, yeah? okay. Yeah. It's it's the face forward, it's the face tattoos and the neck tattoos. It's like, and I'm sure there are people like, hey, look at like the comments, like, bug you. Yeah. Uh, neck tattoo saved my life. I don't care, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, neck I, tattoo <laughs> saved my life. <laughs> but but, here, but on, on your right forearm, it says, I love this. This is Stephen Sondheim lyric. I, which I know is, that Jason's going to make fun of this. Pretty okay, but I love it does because it, does I love it say this. Say I'm just a storyteller. No, nope, but it's not. <laughs> okay. It's not not you're, that. You're safe. It's, 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 it's you want to say what it is? You you want you want to say it? You I want to say it because I love you it. It's it. from uh, it. it's from uh, Sunday in the Park with George, right? Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Anything you do, let it come. Anything you do, let it come from you. Then it will be new. Yeah. See, Jason hates it. I just, he's literally, I love it. his mouth is a gun. Can was I punch it last... off a little bit? Is, is sure. it too late? 
Well, it's he's temporary, dead, right? so he might have an opinion. No, it's yeah. not temporary. It's it's um, it's on <laughs> oh, the box. Like yeah, but you know, you like could, it. can I? We could add it. to it. You could do. Uh, and there, then, I could add to it, but there was actually a line that I took out of it because I thought it was too pompous. What's mm. that? What was it? Which was give them more to see, as if I could do something like that. So how? Would, so how would the quote have been? Go. It would have been anything you do, let it come from you. Then it will be new. Give them more to see. This is a. A musical about George Surratt, the painter. Mandy Patinkin right. played Bernadette Peters did, and it's basically her singing to him. It's a song from a song like called "Inspiring Mo- Him." Move on, you know. Get yeah. get yeah. out of your that's sort really, of. That's a that is a beautiful get quote. Get out of your rut, your artistic rut. And that's nice. If you want to kind of, if you want to sort of take it away, take away a little bit, so it doesn't, uh, th- so it doesn't seem too pompous, you could just put comma J K. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> um, all right, let's get into Sarah Paulson and, and how you started. And I want to know, like, Sarah, I'm so sorry about your decision today JK. to be with us. Yeah, JK. Uh, um, Florida, right? Where in Florida? Florida? Tampa, Florida. You were born. And how old were you when you moved to I Maine? Was born in Tampa, Florida. Um, we moved to Maine when I was in the. How old were you in the second grade? Seven. Mm, seven. seven. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I moved there in second grade. But we moved to New York first. It was New York when I was five. And then Maine and then back to New York? And then Maine and then I went back to Florida, then back to New York where I moved oh, Lord. a lot of places. My mom was a young young mom. Young You're, this mom. is fascinating. Your mom worked at Sardi's on Broadway, which is right next to the That Hayes was her Theater. first job when she That's moved crazy. to New York. That's crazy. Wow. Was wow. At Sardi's. I, I mean, was she an actress as well? No, a writer. Oh, wow. And she was a young mom? 21. She had me at 21 and wow. my sister at 23. So, you know, we can kind of forgive the Trish Hawkins situation because, like, sure. she just yeah. doesn't know what to do. Trish you know, um, mama. And, uh, and, mama. and Daddy, if you don't mind me asking, uh, Dad, in the picture, also out a young the Dad. No, in the picture, still in Florida. Really? Uh-huh. You know? Were they, ever, were they ever married? They were married. They were married very briefly. Uh-huh. Divorced by the time I was two and my sister was 10 months old. Still could have been your fault, though. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I if mean, you were colicky you or something like that. Um, yeah, he was like, God, this colicky baby. Always wanting yeah. to sing these Annie songs. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, so Sarah, so tell, tell me about that story about your mom. Telling me about the story. About the story. <laughs> telling me about, me about the story. The story. <laughs> telling me about the story. Uh, uh, about your mom seeing a psychic at some point and telling what? And saying what? I knew you were going to say that. No, your mom when you were a kid. My were- mom went to a psychic when she yeah. was, when I guess I was, I was young. And she said something like, you know, your daughter's going to live a really non-traditional life. Yeah. And she's not going to do things sort of by the book. And did she tell you that's what the psychic said? She told me that, but after I was older and fell in love with a woman, and then she was like, well, I had the psychic tell me that this was going to happen. <laughs> because <laughs> right, to her, right. that was sort of living a non-traditional life. Life, which you know, not the is. acting part, not, not, not the acting part, yeah, uh-huh. exactly. And not so, anymore. but you, but you knew at such a young age because you went to the fame school. Fame, wait, didn't Aniston? Didn't Aniston, Aniston went, went there? there yeah, she yeah. did. Were you guys in the same class? No, no, she graduated a little bit before I did. Oh, oh shit. snap. Oh, we will snap. cut that out. We will no, cut, are you kidding? That out. cut it we're gonna out. fucking loop it and we're gonna send it to Jen, <laughs> Jen immediately. It's just these are just the facts. This is not, you know, it's not a I mean, nobody looks better than Jennifer Aniston. That's a fact. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. That is so, a fact. you know. So um, wait, Sarah, so so your so your mom but your sister's a casting director, you're uh-huh. an actress, brothers uh-huh. and sisters? I have another sister. My dad remarried. I have a half sister named Rachel. We don't know what she does. Okay, but she why? She actually every- teaches acting classes that she, I mean, I'm literally. Is this true? <laughs> we can cut the whole episode. <laughs> okay, okay, Sarah. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, my everybody's sister, involved. Everybody, so. Come on, everyone I gets it. I moved to L.A. There we and go. then my sister. So here's the truth. And everybody what has happened? this in, in a family, I think, to some degree. I mean, I don't know okay. what your stories are. And frankly, I don't care. But don't get I, me started. But my I, family's <laughs> normal. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I wanted to be an actress from the time I feel like when I was in utero. Like, it feels like I came out of the womb wanting to do this. Yeah. Well, my siblings, crazy. I think, had more... I think less of a clear idea about what that particular passion was and are probably better Mm -hmm. at a lot of things, whereas I have one thing that I can do, you know, whereas my sister's great at math and all this other shit that I can't do. Right, right, right. Um, But I mean, I don't think it's that strange, is it? Or maybe it is. Like, are all of your siblings, like... None. Not I have five. I have three other brothers and a sister. But did they all know what they wanted to be, whatever it was they wanted to do? Well, my sister kind of had a... Yeah, my sister did a little bit. She knew she wanted to be a cop. She was. Are you kidding? Your sister's a cop? Yeah, she's a cop. And she is a cop. 
Yeah. Well, she yeah, was. No, she's not anymore. She'll kick your ass. No, but she'll she was. Ass, yeah. She, by the way, Sean's sister yesterday. I got a. I want to say this to Tracy. Tracy lives in Wisconsin. Tracy, a, listen up. Be, a beautiful red, beautiful red beautiful golf shirt. Wisconsin go, Badgers golf yeah. shirt. Yeah. Which yeah. was yeah, very generous too. and very and with a beautiful note mm-hmm. that that was so nice and and uh, and I was she's very a very thoughtful. nice person. Sean. Very thoughtful, know, nice person. Why yeah. she deserves what uh-huh. you're saying. Uh, <laughs> behind About the her. scenes, always. Yeah. Uh, no, she, she's clearly, she you've got her guys. wrong. You yeah. have she's her wrong. A, Tracy um, is a wonderful person. Anyway, I wanted to, you should you give her another Tracy. shot, Sean. As well. uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and by the way, Sarah, do you play golf? If you play golf, also, have my sister send you a shirt. I don't. I don't. Okay, play great. Golf. Moving on. I still want the shirt. Is that bad? Yeah, no, for, that's okay. I sleep in it. Um, okay, so great. wait. I, then I wanted. I want to know about um, about Holland. Your, the love of your life. Well, it's so uh, wedged you, uh, 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 just north Holland of Belgium, is, um, Belgium just south of Denmark, <laughs> part, considered part of the Benelux <laughs> countries. Um, she, it, uh, uh, I, I want to know the fun story because I, I know a little bit of it, but you were yeah. at a dinner party and you hoped she wouldn't be sat next to you or something. And then Yeah, you know, she. I, I went to this dinner party that a friend of mine uh, hosted where it was really kind of for Buck Henry who was there. And it was a... Wow. Yeah, it was a wild night. And I was at this dinner. It was a long, long table. And there was one empty seat. And Holland Taylor comes sort of, you know, bustling in. And her hair just like throwing her hair back. And just, oh, God, sorry I'm late. Which, you know, late people, when they're really that late, it does end up making it sort of all about them when they yeah. arrive, you know. So she was really doing a, like, kind of grand, mm. oh, yeah. I'm so sorry I'm late at <laughs> all. And we all, and I looked up and I thought, that is really a very beautiful person. And I found her to be intimidating. Mm-hmm. She's really smart and has a kind of formidable presence. Yeah. She, um, yeah. And is incredibly talented. And I just, I was I was young at the time, guys. I was 35, wow. 36. Oh, wow. And she sat down next to me and I thought, oh, God. And then, you know, we just chatted a little while and then really never saw each other again except for on the back lot where I was doing Studio 60 mm-hmm. at, the, at Warner Brothers and she was shooting Two and a Half Men. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she rolled her window down and said, hey, Blondie, do you need a ride? Oh, That's boy. what she said to me. Wow, right? look at that. Right. And I was like, oh, no. uh, <clears throat> I'm okay. I can yeah. walk to stage 19 myself. And mm-hmm. we never saw each other again. And then we ended up um, doing a little... A little um, PSA for Martha Plimpton's uh, abortion. <laughs> this is not going well, guys. Hang on, this hang is on. not going <laughs> well. By the way, like, by the way really I know this is the story <laughs> about how Hugh and Holland got together. Yeah. But for me, it's the details of it are the <laughs> fucking meat. They're really the meat of it. Because the Buck Henry like Buck dinner Henry, and the Martha Plimpton Martha abortion. abortion. Fucking, are you, this is like the fucking Keep Olympics going. for me. This is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> She has an organization called A is Four, which is an abortion reproductive rights uh, organization, and she asked us to do this PSA. So we, uh, Holland and I, happened to arrive on the same day. Oh. Holland was getting oh, ready to come that. to New York to do li- her uh, production of of Anne, which she wrote that was going to be done at Lincoln Center about Governor Anne Richards. It was a one-on-one oh, show. That was the that, prequel to Annie, is it not? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it was probably Annie, like when Annie, like, yeah. is finally. <laughs> a grown-up. She grows okay. up, right. Grows really up to be governor of sequel. Texas. Yeah. It was a really hard-knock life before that. Yeah, exactly. Hard-knock <laughs> life. Um, yeah, and 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 uh, we saw each other there, and then we followed each other on Twitter, and I literally DM'd her when no. I was shooting in New Orleans. Yeah. I slid into Holland Taylor's DMs. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, look at that. And then I sent a picture of her to a friend of mine, and I was like, can I date a 70-year-old woman? Right. Mm. And my friend was like, absolutely not. And I'm just kidding. She was like, yes, you can. <laughs> she was like, fuck no. Are you insane? Uh, and I was like, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to fucking do it. Why not? And so and I you did guys it. Have and now then been the rest together is history. For almost 10 years. Not over That's nine so years. That's so awesome. That's yeah. amazing. That's yeah. so Wait, did you cool. say 19 years? No, nine years. <laughs> I'm 66. Okay, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and she's 110. <laughs> she's 110. She I was just, born. I love being around you guys too. You can just tell how like comfy you guys are yeah. with each other. That Very it's easy. One plus one making three. Uh, yeah. It's just you're both individuals, but you got the mm-hmm. overlap. I mean, it's yeah, we don't live perfect. together. That's the sort of secret. You know, to um, yeah. Sean's married to a man. I do yep. know. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure is. They don't sleep I together love Sky. either. No, yeah. we don't. Well, I, I, you, Holland and I, we spend plenty of time together, but we don't live in the same house. Now, okay. talk to me a little bit Are about you that. Are serious? Because I'm not, yeah. I'm not, tell me about that a little bit. And again, yeah. 
Okay, this is, I'm, I'm divulging too much, but I said to Alessandra recently, who also, you'd like her tattoo. She has a lot of great tattoos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and on her we neck, start, right? No, 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 on her arm. She does really have one cool. in the back of her neck. Yeah. And I said to her recently, we started talking about the idea of separate beds. Jesus yeah, Christ. which is and, and somebody wrote this not in the same room. Somebody wrote this thing. She sent it to. She sent me this article because I kind of joked about it. Yeah, because sleep is so important. We're big sleepers. We're nine fifteen yeah. in betters, and wow. so yeah, yeah. And that's why I that's why I am sixty five. And that's why I look so incredible. <laughs> that's why I look so. <laughs> so and I'm confused, taking the words out of yeah. your. I feel like I'm cutting you off. No, you were about yeah. to say no. Nice. She didn't say how okay. great you look. Okay. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> but um, sleep and hookers <laughs> keeps you young. <laughs> no, but but we start talking about this idea, and and so then I, we made a joke, and we're not going to do it. But this joke about like living separately, living in another house, there is a certain wisdom to it on on some levels, right? I th- I mean we've been together for a long time now, and I think yeah. part of it has to do with we're together when we want to be, and we're not when we don't. And yeah, it, but, but couldn't you? But instead of uh, just challenging it, hit instead it, of hit it, I'm ready. S- instead of uh, living in separate uh, dwellings, what about just living together, but then sleeping in separate rooms? Or no, because you know my mean? favorite thing to do we we fall asleep holding hands, Holland and I. We sleep oh. holding hands. Like we're okay. we're very. Got it. I don't. I like to sleep near her. I don't want to be around her the rest of the time. Just kidding. <laughs> sure. It's the I'm daylight hours. You know what I mean? It's the daylight really hours where I'm like, yeah. you can go. Um, but, <laughs> but no, I mean, it, I think we both, you know, Holland before me had not been in a ton of long-term relationships, whereas Holland is my sort of third, you know, more, more than five-year relationship. So, uh-huh. wow. so I tend to do that and have more experience doing that. Holland has it. And so her life and to get to be <clears throat> her age and sort of not – having really cohabitated with someone mm. for a long time, yeah. I think it was a lot to sort of yeah. all of a sudden have me and all my meanness in her right, right. space. But if you live separate days, you've mm-hmm. got something to talk about, right? Where in right. Canada uh, are you from? If you live separate, separate days. days <laughs> um, I think that, you know, like when I, I spend a bunch of time away, uh, as you guys do as well when a you're lot. working, and it's, it's yeah. kind of, uh, it's nice to be able to fill your partner in on that which they have not experienced with you. It gives you something to fucking talk I about. I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that, but yeah. I, honestly, I it's my, yeah. one of my favorite things is to come home after a long time and, and fill my partner in. I was going to make the same joke, I, and I, I just not? want you to know that that was the joke I was going to make. <laughs> I and I were. appreciate you, Will, and I appreciate yeah. that yeah. I'm not the only one with the mind. Uh, of, of course not. The size of, of a not. tiny pea. No, yeah. what I, what, what I, yeah. now, Sean, I will recommend to you something that Amanda and I uh, do is that we do share the same, we do, <laughs> we do share the same bed, but we have two different duvets. Therefore, oh, when yeah. she rolls over or I roll over, there's not a duvet drag that wakes up the that's other what person. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's great. But, that's but, great. but, my, but, Jay, yeah. my thing is snoring because do you snore could, or Scotty? He snore? could bring down a building. Right. And and I well, you know what? do what Amanda does. You just slide your hand underneath the shoulder just a little bit, create a little bit of a wedge, and they roll over. You get yeah, that guy got, on his stomach and he's, he's not but, gonna snore. What about earplugs? I, I do Nobody earplugs. gets a guy on his stomach like JB. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey you guys. Hey, you know no, what? But then he's got the thing. You know what? The yeah. snoring is a real thing. And does yeah. does Scotty have a, a, a CPAP machine? Does he sleep No, he, he's gonna get it like the newest, the greatest latest. He's gonna try it. But he also has what I what we call the pot of life on his arm because of diabetes. What's that? Oh, so right. yeah, so what? That it. means he can't roll over. Well, then he's like, lying, it's on his shoulder. So then he's like, hey, do they it. not have lemon laws in California? What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> you still got the receipt on that guy, right? Fuck, man. <laughs> 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 that's really funny. Uh, that's so funny. Anything else on the list, Sean? Anything so you else got, about yes. my career? Well, let me, I, let me check it with Will. Will, can I, can I move on to the career or no? Hey, wait. Sarah's not done alienating more people in her personal <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got, you've got a minute, 20 seconds left to ask a fucking question. I got... <laughs> wait. No, no we're just getting we start? started, Sarah. This is... I, I'm here all day, right? Like I, I, I've got a ration of food here. I've got. We a, bought it. We bought yeah. a double booking. If, from if you're yeah, not, yeah. if we're, if this interview's over, I'm FaceTiming you because this cannot <laughs> end. <laughs> Wait, I want to know. Like, you, I was going to go through all your stage stuff. With, like, you did the Glass Menagerie opposite Jessica Lange. You mm-hmm. you were on a, in a show with Jessica Lange. That's so amazing. And I did Ry- Ryan Murphy see that? And that's how he cast you in American Horror Story, or did he see you some, in something else? Yeah, what's going on with you and Ryan? What kind of what kind of stuff do you have on him? And and will we ever see it? 
Yeah. I got I got I got nothing on Ryan. Ryan's an open book, man. You everything mm-hmm. I got on Ryan, you know about Ryan, you know? You know I've never mm-hmm. met him. I'd like to meet You've him. You've never met him? No. I don't never. think I have either. Or I met him maybe. You're keeping him all to yourself. The, Why don't you share well, him with us for Christ's sake? I bet Ryan. I share him, but I love him. He's, you know, he's been very very good to me. Oh. Yeah, like that's the nice. first person in my working life I felt who really saw me, you right. know? Like he continued mm-hmm. to say I'm not, I don't know why I always use sports analogies, analogies when I don't watch any sports, but he continually threw me the ball, just yeah. always, and uh. thought I could do things I didn't even know I could do. And so for me, he's just an absolute hero in my life, both as a, a friend and a professional. And, you, oh, and so you really felt seen. I really felt seen, Will. Yeah. Okay. yeah did you feel? Okay. Uh, I mean, but then I, like Nicole Wallace and Game Change, yeah. which was about to make it, you Fucking phenomenal. Absolutely incredible in that. Wait, Nicole Wallace? For, uh, I played Nicole incredible. Wallace before Nicole Wallace like was the MSNBC. You yeah, know, she's my lady. hero. Yeah. yeah, I played you gotta her in see, Game You got to see Sarah Player. She's an unbelievable performance. Incredible. Well, what Julianne is it? Moore played. It was when Julianne Moore played, played Sarah Palin. This was that HBO thing where Ed Harris played McCain and mm-hmm. Julianne Moore played uh, Sarah Palin. You literally played, played Nicole, Nicole Wallace. Wallace. I did. Mm-hmm. No way. Mm-hmm. Did you ever meet her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. I'm yeah. I, I'm such a big fan of her. Oh, I watch her every single day. Yeah, it was a very, that. very traumatic thing that happened. I mean, you should watch them. You should watch Sean's right. You should watch it's the movie. Amazing. It's amazing. What's it called? Game Change. Okay. Got she it. was really traumatized by the whole thing, the Sarah Palin thing. It was really. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so much so that she didn't vote for her own candidate. She didn't vote for John. She couldn't do, vote because of it. Wow. It was really wild. And then yeah. when you played, when you played uh, Marsha Clark, yeah. phenomenal in the O.J. Simpsons thing. Okay. You know, Story. actually, I, I've got a couple of notes on that one. You got a couple yeah. notes. You got a couple of yeah. notes on that. Yeah. Are you guys locked on that? Because if so, I won't, <laughs> you know, I won't give you the notes. You, okay. You, you should probably not because it's, it's no, already. No, uh, you are. You, I, I don't, th- I don't, th- I think I can safely say you've never sucked. Ever. Yeah. Oh. Never been bad. I, yeah, I got a couple of things in my closet that I think you'd be like, nah, this wasn't probably this on wasn't the- three quarter inch tape, right? Not, <laughs> yes. not even in the days VHS, of uh, VHS. Yeah, fucking guys, I just can I just get a little bit of credit? You got to go. No, I didn't go. jump in when I was teed up with Suckton in the closet, and I didn't yeah, say no, a fucking word. I went word. right past it. it. Yeah. I didn't I either. Teed so. you up. I didn't say I, I a it. fucking. I, I just <laughs> right. sat here like a good fucking <laughs> a cheap student, gay joke, you know. You, say but you refrained. No, I didn't say anything. Um, yeah. Sarah, I said I read that after the OJ thing, uh, Marsha Clark, you couldn't watch yourself anymore. Is that true, and why? Yeah. What? Yeah, I can't watch myself now. I well, it, I actually decided to. I I think for me, the Marsha Clark thing was the first time I had done anything where I felt uh, so much um, connectivity to Marsha the person, yeah, and uh-huh. so much. Um, it just was the first time there there felt like a real creepy actressy kind of melding of like almost like a visitation where you've been sort of embodied by a person you don't know. I mean, how it happened. I'm waiting for yeah. your joke, Will, about being embodied by no, no, you no. don't got one. Okay. He's writing no, it. He's slow. Just be patient. Okay. He'll, he'll, right. he'll get me. there. He'll get there. All right. good. That's okay. Um it's just an opportunity yeah. missed. It's not a big deal. But um <sighs> but uh it was the most uh, connected I ever felt to anything I'd ever done professionally and I thought if I uh-huh. watch this and also it was in conjunction with the most celebrated I had ever been about my work. And so I uh-huh. think I thought if I watch this and everybody thinks it's great and I hate it, I'm going to sort of ruin my experience that I'm yeah. having that has never yeah, yeah, happened yeah. to me before of of feeling really you yeah, know, I, get, I understand. It, you that. know what I mean? Like, I just thought yeah. I'm going to go in there with my hypercritical way and tear right. this apart, and that would be a shame because this is the first time I, I feel like anyone is giving a shit about my work or what I'm doing, and so I thought I should try to enjoy it, and but then I just che- kept it. Yeah, you should right. check it out. It's pretty fantastic, all of it. But, but and you should also remember that nobody is going to be more critical about your work than Trisha. Trish Hawkins. I'm surprised I haven't gotten an email from her. Like Already? If everything that's ever come out, I'm just shocked. Um, so is that still your policy is to not not watch your work? Yes, except for when I have been EPing things, I do watch it, but I try to watch it in a kind of right. um, a way where, you know, because I'm giving notes. Well, doing you're everything. depriving yourself of incredible performances, but that's just me. But that's but really the, nice, and Jason. this I have one last thing and then I'm gonna let you, we're all gonna let you go. So oh. Nicole Wallace, Marsha Clark, and then Linda Tripp, crazy yeah. transformation, incredible. Didn't look you completely disappeared as Linda Tripp. Mm-hmm. That was in, mm-hmm. and so are you? I'm watching your career from outside, going, oh, she's so phenomenal at at playing as a character actress. Mm-hmm. Is that your go to comfort zone? 
I feel like the vanity component of this industry, particularly for women, but for men, for all of us, like I feel so hyper focused on this shit, the face and the body and the hair mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. weight and the thing and the wrinkles and all this shit that I definitely feel a kind of freedom when I can hide behind yeah. these other things, whether it's mm-hmm. Marsha's wig or Linda's, the prosthetics to play Linda and Mm-hmm. I can I can hide. It's a it's a way of hiding that I that I think ultimately she died. She did die. She died right before we started. She no was, way, was, really. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wait, Sarah. Before yeah. we go, before we go, I just want to know because you're a creature of the theater, like I am. Yeah. Super fast, funny, tragic theater story. Anything oh, happened geez. either in this play funny or, or another tragic one? theater story? I mean, I don't know if there's a more tragic story than getting notes from an actress who played a play okay, fine. Uh, That's your thirty story. years ago. But there you go. Uh, f- funny. The, like something, something going happened wrong. the other. Well, two things happened recently, which is, you know, in the play, which you guys saw, we'll, you, we can discuss this later. Um, sure, sure. At the, in the first act of the play, I am having an argument with the black sheep of the family played by Michael Esper, who... The great, I, the great, the Michael, great Michael Esper, who I think you've heard, he's Corey incredible, Stoll. and he's a great yeah. Corey Stoll. Um, and I leave the room in a big huff, and I'm very upset, and I've just blown up and screamed at everybody. And I leave the stage, I slam the door, and his line is, what happened to her? And someone from the balcony went, you... That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, a balcony Boy, for you. People yeah, forget and it's then the play. other thing that happened that was kind of cool the other day, which is I'd never experienced that, and I don't know if you ever have either, Sean, but we had an actress get sick in Act One, and then the understudy went on for Act Two. I, that's oh, never boy. happened, but I've always I'd never wondered heard that about happen. That. It was like Days of Our Lives wow. or something, where like someone was decapitated in season four, and in season ten they came out with. Did a you have to take. make an announcement, or you just did it? Yeah. Um, yeah, they make an announcement, and everyone just clapped. And there's something very special about the theater where like people are willing to believe anything you do up there, as long as you kind of commit to that right. world and you and you like a, pi- a good pilot, let them know what the fuck is going on. Let right, them right. Know. Not to bring it full circle for it's, you guys, but I got to say. That is incredible. It's a relationship oh, between oh, you and the audience. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. You got to communicate. It's the key to yes. everything you guys. Listen, lady, con- early congratulations on your Tony Award. Yes, uh, exactly. Y- incredible Here. performance. We love you and thank you for sh- love even you showing up Will, today. Will, I just met you, but you're my favorite. Uh, now you're my favorite. I feel the same. That's all the time we have. What a <laughs> Absolute, what a delight, Sarah. She's I've never been so delighted. Oh, my life. God. Thank you. Yeah. And I really do want you to come. Also, at the Tabasco Theater, uh, Sean, you live on there. I think, have I told you this? Like, Bax, first of all, your poster is down in the room. Have you? Did you talk about this on the show at all, about the no. elephant, the, the room? The elephant under- room. The elephant room under the Tabasco Theater. There, this. Did you talk about this? Am I boring? No, no, Everybody's uh, already uh, talked about there, it. You, you say it. But yeah. there is. There. I mean, it's really cool. There's. An, they call it the elephant room because Houdini, right, yeah. used to have this massive room underneath the stage that could hold an elephant. So because part of he was magic going trick, to do a big trick where he was going yes, to disappear. Where an he elephant. raises the elephant from the thing. So they call yeah. it the elephant. And room. so that's down there. And there's a big poster of, of Sean down so there. So you're calling stayed. me an elephant? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, just saying, yeah. like, there are a lot of posters that are not down there. There's there's two posters down there, and yours is one of them. And also, oh. every night when I walk backstage to get to my entrance, there is a cork board on the right hand side that the prop guys have up, and it just says Oscar Levant. On it. Oh, so, oh, I love so that. So I sort of think about you every day when I'm there. Uh, and, and I love that, honey. That's very oh, sweet. Really Thank you. Lovely. And I'm so glad you're there. And I'm so glad we saw it. And I can't wait to root you on. You were really great. I really great. appreciate it. You wrote me a lovely text. I didn't hear from you, Jason, but um, I'm <laughs> oh, confident I will. Oh, spam. No, I, it's in there. I'm yeah, confident I will text. hear from you, Will, when <laughs> you come course, backstage or when you terrible, don't. And then, yeah. <laughs> I had a terrible joke and I didn't say it. I just had another terrible one. I saw I'll your whole I want it. And Please it's, give it. Fucking, get it out. And it's get it fucking, out. And it's fucking killing me. And I said that Houdini was going to do the, he was going to do the trick with the elephant. It was too long. So they asked him to. To truncate it. <laughs> so, <laughs> to fuck it. you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you all. Look what you made me do. Look at you. You did this. <laughs> Look, I'm in shorts. Strangely, I have to go. I mean, I just have to go now. I know. You gotta rest your voice. I gotta all right, rest we my love voice. We love you. We love you. Sarah, I love you. Thank you, guys. Bye, honey. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was great. <laughs> That'll start your week. Happy Monday, everybody. You have oh, great man. Sarah Paulson to give you a nice little jolt of. She's a superstar. Love and energy. She is the best. She, is she something else? She's she really funny. Is. And by the way, and, and and everything she's done, like you said, Jay, she doesn't, I know we say it a lot about a lot of people, but um, never- Never puts, terrible. Never terrible. 
She's no. one of those people who's never, who's always good, no matter what she does. Yeah, she's yep. so no matter great. what she's in. Yeah, but and she's funny. also just like, just to be around is is uh, as you can see, it it just makes your day, makes your night. And you put her and Amanda Pete together, you know, a couple oh, of best it. friends there. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just you're you're are they you're old flying school best friends? Week. She yeah. and, and Amanda Pete. Yeah, yeah it's like a, you watch them as like a ticket to a free show. They just like mm -hmm. go go go, and it's fun, really? and engaging, and charming, and yeah, it's great. Well, I I you know I I. I said it already to her, but I'm really excited about her and the award shows coming up for her in New York. Um, I think she's going to kill it, and uh, I'm so glad she was here. Oh, are oh, you waiting for a bike? Oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't know because you were just. Usually, no, when you I take the initiative, serious. you've got you got a head full of steam going towards the bike, but and then not it was today, just huh? a fucking, And then it was just an what? absolute just a, peter just a big, out. Um, just, yeah, I don't, yeah, just a fucking. Oh, is there an elephant one? I don't know. Mm. I was like, ba, um, da, 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 let's see. Um, let's see. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what we think. Shoot, what the, think? the Tonys. Let's Google. Trish. Oh, and then that um, one. Let's see. Trish. With, uh, Monica uh, Lewinsky. Nothing about the, the elephant, uh, right? Okay. How mm. about. Um, and do you like. What movies versus say, theater. Uh, um, with Ryan Murphy. No, well, she's on New York. And she's, she's, she's in New York. She's also in Los Angeles yeah. often, so maybe she's bi-coastal. We could use bi-coastal. Oh, yeah. We've done, it. We've done um, it a few we've times. We've done bi-coastal yeah. quite a bit. We've done a few times. Um, but, uh, we've yeah. done Biden. We've done a Biden? Yeah, we've done We did. Biden. We did. Um, uh, take a bite. You know, I know one. Apple in New York. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, um, Sean. Hey. <laughs> so what's up? <laughs> hey, Sean. Hey. Um, you know, the theater, the, the Tabasco theater that she's in is actually. It's actually the Belasco. Yeah, the um, Belasco, yeah. sorry. The Belasco theater she's actually in isn't yeah. isn't one of those big theaters like where you. No. Yeah, oh, you yeah. can see everything in close. You don't need to sit in the back with one of those no, no, opera, exactly. you know, things. Those, you know, what do they use the, to see oh, real far in a theater? They, uh, you can pull uh, up. Oh, know, oh. Uh, like um, binoculars. 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 Wow, Will's really blowing the bang. Smart. Bless. Smart. Bless. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Michael Grant Terry, Rob Armjarv, and Bennett Barbaco. Smart. Bless.